as you can probably tell, I got a new camera. Now you can see all the blemishes on my beautiful face. This one, right here, taught me a lesson. That lesson is called, don't put temporary tattoos on your face. It will ruin your face. Hello, and welcome to Depression Session. If this is your first time here, get ready for some shit. Today we will be discussing theater kid problems. This is something that probably not a lot of people can relate to, but a lot of people can laugh at. Especially if you've ever been in high school. You know, theater kids are fucking weird. The first theater kid problem is when literally nobody gets your references. Ever. It's very sad. True story. The other day, my friend was, my, my friend was introducing me to this guy and it was like, And I literally went, but you have to laugh. Hamilton, how come no one can get you on their staff? Nobody got it. It was very upsetting. And then another time, someone was like, oh yeah, I was on the outside. And I went, always looking in, Kayla. Again? Nobody got it. So yeah, I am constantly making Broadway and theater related references that no one ever gets. Especially from the show I was just recently in with Jade, called 13, not the musical, the sad one that's British. We were constantly making references to 13, and no one around us got them. For example, our entire cast, there was this song by Coldplay that plays near the end of the show that goes, Flock of birds hovering above, but we always sang it, Flock of bird. Hovering above. So we would constantly go, which bird would you fuck? Put it in the comments down below. For no reason. Constantly. And no one else got it except for us, but we would lose our shit every single time. The second problem is kind of related to the first one. People constantly get annoyed with you singing Broadway songs. All the time. Like, it's... Kind of weird if you're constantly singing like popular songs because like constant singing can get annoying But when you're constantly singing Broadway songs that nobody else knows it is so much worse For example, my father knows most of the Hamilton soundtrack just for me incessantly singing it Same with Rent, same with Dear Evan Hansen, same with Be More Chill, all great shows No one else around me knows the music from them except me like, even some friends that have never seen Be More Chill know parts of Michael in the bathroom just because they're stuck in my head and I feel the need to sing them. Incessantly. For no reason. Why am I like this? The third problem on only really applies to theater kids who actually do theater, which is all the weird shit that happens backstage. I swear, all the drama that goes down backstage very much rivals whatever the fuck is going on on stage. Like, one time, Let's call him Joe and I were sitting backstage and my other friend Fred was sitting on the other side of me Fred looks to Joe and says hey, I bet you won't stick that makeup sponge up your ass Joe looks at him and goes Yes, I will and so Joe stands. This is his this this is him right next to me I'm sitting down. He is standing. This is him right next to me pulls down his pants and puts the makeup sponge in his butt I don't know why. And so, word spread around backstage, and for the next 20 minutes, people were barging in the dressing room, going, Joe's fuck a sponge up his ass? Spun, stuck, smuck, schmuck, I don't know. Stuck a sponge up his ass. And Jay and I were just rolling on the floor, laughing. And it still gets me to this day. Sometimes Jade will just look at me and go, Joe stuck a sponge up his ass? And I will still start, hysterically laughing even though the show ended in March. This is another one that apl only applies to theater kids who actually do theater, especially in high school, is balancing theater and school. If you have ever been in a show, you know it takes up like 99.9% .9 of your time. And teachers don't seem to understand that. What's extra annoying is you can be like, sorry, I was at rehearsal till like 11 o'clock at night last night. I couldn't do the homework, but I'll like make it up to you. And they're like, it's not an excuse to miss school, ma'am. And then some kid will come in being like, Hi, sorry, I had to do sports for an hour. I cannot do homework. And they're like, sure, cool, bro. 
The fuck, man? That's rude. Theater gets no recognition versus sports. Nobody knows why. It's very sad. Number five. When you're not in a show, you have this weird, like, incessant need to be on stage, like, constantly. I don't know if this is just me and my theater friends, but when I'm not in a show, I just feel so sad because I, like, need to be in a show. Because, like, especially once a show first ends and you're not spending all of your time in rehearsal, you're just like, what do I do with all this free time? Like, literally, that's what, after tech week, I don't know what to do with my life. Because I was used to being in the theater every single day, all day. And now I have all this free time to like, eat, work, and sleep. What is this blasphemy? Like, literally one time during Tech Week for Mary Poppins, I did not see the sun for like, four days. It was insane, because I get to school before the sun rises, and then I leave school after the sun sets. I don't know what, I didn't know what sunlight was that week. Number six, all the jokes, especially if you want to major in theater later on in life, all the jokes about you later on being a waitress. Ha ha ha, I know it's funny, but acting is something I really love to do. So if it means waitressing for a little while, I'm okay with it. Number seven, learning lines. Especially when you're in high school during theater, learning, learning lines is a very, interesting experience especially because while you're learning your lines you're often saying them constantly under your breath so you look crazy talking to yourself under your breath especially backstage when you're like watching people go through their lines this is them just walking back and forth and they look insane because it literally just looks like they're talking to themselves especially if they're doing their like motions with it like one time i remember my friend was practicing this like really angry monologue so he he was facing a wall and he just looked really angry at nothing just talking to himself and i just sat there and watched him for a solid like 20 minutes it's very funny from the outside but while you're in it you are in it fucking learn those lines bitch number eight I don't know about other schools, but at my school, when we have a production, almost every time, we all get sick during tech week. During Mary Poppins, a lot of us had the stomach flu, and then during 13, we all had like sinus colds, and we were all coughing constantly, and people were literally like passing around cough drops and water bottles constantly. It's kind of funny to think about it from the outside of all these poor children getting sick and not sleeping, but it's terrible when you're in it. Like, I can look back on Mary Poppins where everyone was vomiting all the time and laugh, but during that time, it was terrible. It's especially terrifying when one of the main characters, who are very important to a scene, get very, very sick and nobody knows what the fuck to do. But I remember one time our main character for Mary Poppins got really sick, like two of our main characters got really sick and they were like vomiting backstage and we were like, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? And somehow, by the magic of theater, they both made miraculous recoveries like two seconds before they were supposed to go on stage. It was amazing, never seen anything like it. Number nine, something that's especially difficult is when you really hate your costume. Like one year from Mulan, I had this like weird baggy shirt and these weird silk pants that I really, really hated and every time I put them on, I'm just like, Ooh. But without a doubt, every time, you will miss that damn costume when you have to put it back up on the rack for the last time. Number 10, cast parties. Cast parties are very weird, especially because it's a bunch of weird theater kids just kind of hanging out, all being awkward, like, ha ha, we've never been invited to parties before. What is a party? But then, like, without a doubt, shit will get crazy because theater kids are fucking weird. That's like my final statement, is just that theater kids are weird. We stick sponges up our ass, we sing songs, we are socially awkward, and we love theater more than anything. So, if you're a theater out there, if you're, I'm good at talking, if you're a theater kid out there, comment down below about other weird theater kid problems that exist in the world. I still don't know how to do outros. Bye!